this tsunami will wipe out your money lying in the banks. You want to know how? Please listen to this. Banks the world over getting into the problems when the loans advanced by them are not repaid on time by the borrowers. As a matter of fact, when the economy is slowed down, many of the borrowers go belly up and they become NPAs, which is popularly known as non-performing assets. According to the bank banking prudence suggests that the banks should auction the assets given by the borrower as security at the time of taking the loans. Generally, the bank insists on 150% of the security of the loan amount. For example, if a borrower wants 100 rupees as a loan, he has to provide a security worth of rupees 150 before availing the loan. However, for big borrowers, every norm is flouted and when they become the NPAs like that of Anil Ambani in Telecom, you are talking of outstanding use worth of 45000 crores which is a huge sum. Now, the question is who will replace the funds that were loaned to him? Today, the NPA of Indian banks, non-performing assets of the Indian banks amount to over 10 lakh crore. Jaitley or Ujjit Patel do not give the actual figures. To rescue the banks, the government has two options. They are called the bailout, which means the government uses the taxpayers' money to fund the bank. This is very wrong, but it has now been quite happening in India regularly. The other monstrous option is called the bailin. Let us look what does it mean. The term that forms the very pivot of this post and has become never been resorted to in our country earlier. So, this is actually the first time implemented in India. Now, what is bail-in actually? The dictionary meaning of bail-in is rescuing a financial institution on the brink of failure. I repeat, rescuing a financial institution on the brink of failure by making its creditors and depositors taking a loss on their holdings. A bail-in is an internal process and is the opposite of bailout, which is external and handled by the government with budgetary allocation. You just deposit your money in a bank as a savings deposit or fixed deposit to use it whenever you want. You absolutely have no clue as to how well the bank is managed. Now Modi and Arun Jaitley have got a bill approved by the cabinet called the Financial Resolution Deposit Insurance Bill. And this has now been referred to a joint parliamentary committee before getting it passed in the parliament. This bill covers bankruptcy of the business such as banks and insurance. Financial resolution includes solutions for banks facing imminent risk to the viability and their very existence depending on the capital worth and quantum of the NPS. Now comes the Willie Jaitley into the picture. The bill also introduces the provision for a bail-in whose purpose is to provide capital to absorb the losses of a bank and ensure its survival. Here. Survival doesn't mean safety of the deposits money, depositors money, but restoration of capital to the bank. The bail-in empowers the bank to cancel a liability owed by a bank or charge in the form of an external liability to a security, another security. In simple words, it means that savings account balance of 15 lakhs can be reduced to 1 lakh which is mandatory by law or they can even convert your savings balance of 15 lakhs to a fixed deposit repayable after 5 years giving you a 5% annual interest and you can do absolutely nothing about it. If you had kept the money of your daughter's marriage, it is bad luck and you cannot access your money for the next 5 years. A question might arise in your mind if such things happen abroad, certainly yes in a big way. Cyrus was the first country to face the bail-in in 2013. The depositors lost almost a staggering amount of 47.5% of their savings in phase 1. They also had a phase 2 